Hi Aries, all right, we got a special reading for you today because guess what? We are bringing back the yeah. money readings, money, career, abundance, finance. You guys, especially my fire and water signs, you guys have been requesting that I bring these back. So here we are, Aries. Let's go ahead and take a look at your mid-August 2024, moving into September. Taking a look at all things surrounding money, finance, career, abundance, wealth. Oh, okay. Already have a jumper. And you know, as always, I love reading down below in the comments where you guys are tuning in from, what city, state, or country you proudly represent, Aries, um, or maybe care to share how you are enjoying this message. Maybe you're enjoying it with a glass of wine or your dinner, your breakfast, perhaps you're getting ready for work. I'd love to know because my fire signs, you guys are always multitasking in the best and highest way. You guys love to maximize your time. So let's see what's coming in for you. Aries, we're, we already have eight of cups coming out here for you. Okay, we have eight of cups. Well, let's focus on that. It looks like this is wanting to be prioritized. Eight of cups. Now we know that this is showing an energy of leaving, walking away. But why? Because there are other things on the other side. These cups are empty, showing being drained. Okay, you are emotionally drained, possibly spiritually drained. Um, it could also be that you are no longer feeling loved or there's no fulfillment. Because again, the cups are empty with no plans of being refilled or replenished. So you're turning your back on the emptiness. Let's see what this is all pertaining to though, Aries. What is this Eight of Cups? How is this going to help Aries? What message do they need to know? Oh, Six of Cups. Okay, very interesting. Oh, and this one stopped me. All right. Time to leave behind the past and look forward to the new, the new future. Now, when we look at the past, the Six of Cups, this, oh, okay, I was gonna ask for a clarifier, but we already have a jumper. Oh, wow, okay, I was gonna say, this looks like it's something that you have been attached to for a long time, and sure enough, look, we have a double, double six coming in. Six of Swords, where are you, Aries? Because it looks like where you're at, mm. It looks like where you're at, you've been wanting to leave, but you may have been questioning. Your intuition may have been trying to tell you, been trying to show you, but you, because this came out in reverse, it's almost like you dismissed it or you found an excuse as to why it could work. But the signs are on the written on the wall here showing that it's time to embark on a new path, Aries. The Page of Swords represents new beginning, new training, new learning, picking up different strategies and techniques, okay? Sometimes this is also showing education, learning, leveling up, going back to school, picking up new ways, finding out new information, seeking a new opportunity. So I'm hearing like new, new, new. In the season moving into September, a lot of you are looking for something new because where you're at, I see you were out. Excuse that little tinkering there. Um, Aries, maybe that was a sign, but my glass fell. Uh, the Six of Cups, it's almost like where you were at, you were at one point happy with. You loved where you were a part of. Maybe you loved the community, the group. Um, some of you, not all of you, you may have been put in a situation due to like a loved one. Maybe you worked with a partner. Maybe you lived in that city because of a partner. Um, maybe it's where you grew up, where you went to school. Because there's a lot of social, um, social like connection and like-mindedness like mutuality here, but the six of swords, you're like leaving it now. Your mind, you're making up your mind. So not only do we see this emotionally, but also mentally, you're checked out, you're ready to go. And again, I feel like intuitively, 
This is something that has been calling you for some time. It's been trying to show you that this is the time to move on. Some of you may have had a feeling too that it's time to jump. It's time to take the leap. It's time to get on the boat and leave. And something is going to reveal itself where you're realizing, you know what? Let me, let me leave. This is the sign. This is the sign that I needed to leave. You don't know what's lying ahead, but intuitively you know it's best to depart. I'm also hearing too that where you are feeling drained, it's to the point where you have nothing left to offer because you're not meant to offer more. You're meant to offer the the the, the best version of you somewhere else. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see. What? Oh. The moon. That was interesting. I'll read that in reverse and upright. The moon, but this kind of went under the high priestess too. So like intuitively, some of you, you have been afraid too. Maybe some of you have been afraid to leave because you don't know what the future holds or you don't know what that path looks like. But did you know the moon also represents being shown the path, but just enough where you just take step by steps. You're not meant to see the full picture. You notice how we have the dog and the wolf here, right? They're kind of on guard. Same with these pillars. They're kind of like little, um, reminds me of like when you go bowling and you're learning. Little kids have those little bumper walls. It's kind of like that. There's something here where like you're not meant to go out of the boundaries. You're not meant to be too intimidated by the path. Just stick to the step ahead step by step, and then the rest will be revealed. Because we also have a double moon coming through here for you, Aries. So intuitively, right? Like your intuition, your divine guides are trying to steer you in something that's gonna be a, a positive like result or outcome. Oh my gosh, look, we have the high priestess coming out again. All right, let's take a look here. What else do we have going on? So we have the moon listening to your intuition is going to be very, very key when it comes to making right, you know, the right moves. Some of you may have a feeling like, yeah, it's time to move. It's time to transfer. It's time to move on. It's time to try something else. But let's see what else is coming through. I know with my fire signs, um, and let me know in the comments too, for these like, money and abundance and opportunity readings would you like them every month would you like them maybe every three months um bi-weekly i could try to do every two weeks but i think that may be too much but if you know for sure you'd like them every month let me know because that's one thing about my fire signs you guys aren't always fixated on love and that's one thing i've read about uh, some of the comments you guys really appreciate that this channel does not focus on love only because life is multifaceted we're not always about love right we're about self-development we're about expansion learning um you know how to achieve the highest version of ourselves how to make the most of this life how to achieve greatness and my fire signs you guys are very strong go-getters so i i have a feeling that for these career or abundance readings you may resonate with these the most i know um yeah i know my water signs are interested but let me know here for you as well aries I think Sagittarius was down too for more of these readings. Let's see. What 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 else do we have coming in? I want to I want to tap into the moon. What is this about the moon that we need to know? That one. Oh, illusions. Deception. Have you ever had a feeling about something and it felt off, but you couldn't quite put your finger on the proof, but you knew instinctively in your gut not to pursue something. This is what this is showing you, Aries. It, towards the end of August of this month, moving into September, really listen to your intuition because it could be trying to prevent you and save you from a situation that could turn out to your downfall. All right. Again, sometimes situations don't show the full picture, 
but you don't need to know the full picture to know if you want to pursue the next step or not. So whether you meet someone, whether you are tempted to be bound by a contract, maybe an opportunity seems too good to be true. Okay, if your gut is telling you like, hmm, better do a gut check, listen to that. Aries, listen to that. Okay, do some exploring. Sometimes too, the devil energy shows up in a way where it's alluring to you specifically. It knows what you want. It knows what you need. It knows what you desire. It knows what you want to hear. Um, and it hopes that you don't do enough research. So sometimes that could seem like a job that seems too good to be true. Or maybe you're given two opportunities and one of the opportunities are trying, they're trying to say anything to get you locked into their contract because they are going to try to take advantage of you. So there's something like that. Like just be very, very careful. If your gut is feeling a little off, figure out why, because there could be some underlying, um, truth that needs to be revealed that you're not quite aware of okay it's like your spirit guides are trying to alert you about something it's trying to prevent you from making like a mistake or to prevent you from being like burned or taken advantage of or wasting your your time or your energy because if that's one thing about the devil energy this the devil energy always benefits they think about their benefits first and then you last. The four of wands is coming together with the clarifier of the three of swords. Through some type of loss or setback is going to bring, to bring together a strong connection and some type of strong foundation. We see the four of wands. This is like 11-11, something coming together, you coming together with an opportunity, celebrating. But the celebration is, um, it's interesting because the celebration comes after some type of sadness. Hmm. So some of you are going through a sadness or you're going through a sep it could be a split, okay? Something's removed. I, I always see the three of swords as like also a thorn being removed. The thorn was hurting you at the time when it was in, but you releasing it is allowing you to heal and move on and to build back up your life, your foundation, your future. So there is some type of like sadness or split, but through that, you're coming collectively together like stronger and better. Like something better is, is being built for you. Now, this could also be mentally, right? Mentally, you are disappointed because something did not go your way. You did not get the news or the information or the outcome that you had expected. But through this, again, it's because now you were meant to come together and join forces with something better join forces with a better opportunity if we look at the king of wands as your next message let's see king of wands interesting i feel like the king has been in the last two readings he's been showing up oh king of wands with the four of swords interesting here too because we have wand wand sword sword double fours with the threes the king of wands four of swords something about um resting healing knight of swords is coming through Aries, there's, um, we all know that the king is in a power of position, great power, and they are also the ones to make big decisions. In these upcoming weeks, be very careful on the words that you choose, the way you present yourself, the action that you jump into or the conclusion that you act on the four of swords 
representing being very, very mindful and intentional on the thoughts that you are conjuring here. This is showing a very relaxed state. This person is very clear headed and they are thinking out the solution. They are taking time to separate from the distractions, from the noise from the negativity, because they want to be level-headed, clear-headed. And then through that, they're going to make, you know, the the correct on-charge, like, move or decision. So with the king, the king has to be very careful of the orders that he gives that's going to produce the ideal outcome, okay? If he wants something done, if he wants something built, if he's trying to pursue something, he doesn't want to have to backtrack or backpedal on anything, right? You have to be very thorough. And this is a reminder here that be very thorough with some type of big decision. Don't be afraid to sleep on it. Don't be afraid to say no. Do not fall victim to overcommitting to something that you know you cannot act out on. Something here is saying like, really think about this, okay? Think something through. Whether it's, just think it through. Think about who you really want to be with, who you want to collaborate with, where you want to go, what you want to build. There's an emphasis here on like really thinking about it, strategizing, being creative, but also not being afraid to like ask for help or ask questions. As we look at the seven of cups, seven of cups taps into illusions as well. This card came through. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes people that appear to be in support of you may be against you or they may be trying to compete with you. Hmm, that's an interesting message that's coming here. N may not be for everyone, but for a selective group of you, this is some type of realization that some of you guys are realizing that not everyone that is by your side is there for your greatest good. Not everyone that claims to be your friend or your supporter or your cheerleader really feel that way. They could be secretly using you, um, spying on you, you know, picking up your techniques, your strategies for their gain. Also, a side note, okay, separate from this, the Seven of Cups is also an indicator of your desires, your worldly desires, and having the proper balance of knowing when to give in to those temptations and when to prioritize what's really important in your life. We all have things that we take interest in, but we cannot let those interests be the thing that we always choose to celebrate. Um, an example would be, you know, maybe you love to just stay home and watch Netflix all day, right? Like, oh, that's so tempting. You just want, just want to binge all your shows. You love them. They make you so happy. And you just want to hang out with your friends all the time. You just want to be with your partner all the time. But there's something here where it's like, you know, you need to prioritize some other things that are more important. Like maybe you need to get that business going. Maybe you need to put in some type of hours. Maybe you need to get your work done first. Okay. Prioritizing something here in this earthly realm. Something that's more important. I'm seeing like balance. Balancing out things that are really important and things that are, or I should say people, right? People that are really going to be by your side won't mind if you put them on the side temporarily. Maybe it's love too. Some of you may be realizing, especially with my fire signs, like I said earlier, I do see here that there may be temptations to, you know, date around or have fun, have flings, but you're realizing, hmm, but what is that gonna get me? Yeah, I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, it's gonna feel good at the moment. Yeah, you know, it could be fun, but is it really gonna get me where I'm trying to go? Going on a date here and there, wasting my time with this person if it's not even gonna be serious, right? So there's something here where you're realizing, hmm, I'm just gonna focus on a, a, a few things that I can juggle and not overwhelm myself with things that are tempting me. Now, as we take a look at the high priestess, 
coming up again because we saw it here in your opening message. Let's see, the High Priestess. What is this for Aries? What does Aries need to know? Make sure, by the way, you are subscribed because I am going to do your September reading coming up as well. Some of you guys say that you don't get notifications. So I hope you're I hope you're, you're getting it. Make sure you have your notification bell icon on. And let me know if you guys are interested in more of these like um, career, money, finance, abundance readings. Because I know not all of you are always interested in like love, love, love. Ooh, the high priestess with the sun. Okay, the sun energy is definitely fire. Two major arcanas. The thing here, it's being stressed again. You see how many moons we have coming in? Okay, we're looking at the moon here. We see the moon here. It's like triple moon. Some of you may be in connection with a Pisces. Some of you may have a Pisces in your life. A partner, a best friend, a colleague, someone that you really trust. They could be very intuitive. And they're trying to steer you in a direction that maybe you do not see but they know is better for you, maybe, you know, listen or lean in or take that advice or that suggestion. The high priestess is also you, okay? Your gut, your intuition. Also spirit guides, God, source, your angels, whatever your divine sources that you connect to, Aries, in these next few weeks, look for the signs because I do see that there is a pathway here that is trying to bring you to the light, Okay, it's trying to bring you into some type of positive turnaround. It it wants to shift, okay? There, there's some type of like major shift that is trying to put you into this high vibrational state. The The sun is the most vibrant positive card in the tarot deck. And the, the high priestess has hidden wisdom and information and knowledge that you do not see. Sometimes you don't understand. Sometimes that you don't even know are possible. But they're the keeper of secrets. So there's something here where it's like it's trying to reveal something to you that you may not understand in this dimensional world, uh, in this realm, but it's trying to align and shift you into like a quantum leap, right? It's trying to shift your reality into something like better. So if you do have a nudge and for some reason, again, like you have this feeling, you're like, I don't know why, but I woke up with a feeling that I should do this. I should do that. I should pursue that. Listen to it because it's like your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you. And in the past, again, you may have just nudged it off, brushed it off, been too busy to pay attention to the signs, but really pay attention to these signs. Really pay attention to these signs. I feel like this is trying to get your attention. This is really trying to get your attention because it's trying to bring some type of positive change positive life change in here for you so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so we can look at your next bonus reading here aries and until then stay well and be blessed